Okay. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. Nice talking to you. So, uh, how um, uh, important was it for you making this movie? Because it handles so many important topics like friendship, loyalty, mm -hmm. uh, refugees, and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, for me, it was very important to to uh, be a part of this movie because, first of all, I was a fan of Sebastian's work uh, with Victoria, Absolute Gigante, and, and all these movies. And plus, uh, I got to meet Finn during the casting process, and we bonded together. And I was like. I hope I'm gonna be in it because uh, uh, I just want to be with those guys. And then uh, overall, I would say um, I'm a Congolese guy. I'm from Congo. My parents are both from Congo. And to tell these stories are very, you know, um, uh, from now. Actually, I feel like uh, uh, we needed to hear those voices. And if I could be like a, a good way to portray those William stories, because there is unfortunately like some millions of William and Baptiste, that would be great to, you know, just. Uh, to be to be a part of you know a change you know and and this move like I feel like art is made for this we I don't want to be political or whatever but uh, if I can you know like push the discussion forward by my work I would do it anytime. Mm -hmm. And uh, Finn told me you have also met some uh, refugees in Calais. So yeah, uh, how how touching was it or how humbling was it maybe for you talking to these guys? Uh, Actually, we we. Didn't only met them in Calais, but we met them in Morocco. Uh, prior to the shooting of the movie, I went to Morocco with Sebastian. We spent uh, a week, I, I would say, in Tangier, and we went to Ceuta, the border that I'm talking about in the movie. And I saw like some very tragic situation. I met with some people who were my age and were getting stabbed, uh, beaten up by the police and by just regular Moroccans people who wanted just them to be out of the country. And uh, I felt like it's, I just felt like uh, I felt like it was not fair, you know. And I feel like we needed to tell these stories, and so those were very touching moments, and those were, I would say, very inspiring moments for the scripts, because um, um, because uh, we got to you know put those you know, stories in the script and put those discussion, you know, like for example when we have in a scene where I'm laying down with Phil in the bush and I'm talking about my story. Those are from real facts. That those are from stories that I heard in Morocco, and uh, and yes, and in Calais that was very difficult because uh, I felt like uh, I felt like I was uh, unfortunately a part of it because I saw the police beat up like every day on set. We were going on set around like maybe 6 a.m., 7 a.m. in the morning, and every day I would I would be in the car and I would watch like police beat up my brothers, you know, like the Congolese, Sudan, Sudanese, like a lot of people in the morning and I was I was like, this is my money actually, this is government money. Those people are paid to do this with the money that my mom is paying to the taxes that, that I am paying and that was very hard for me to, you know, that was super hard for me to, to be in Calais. And uh, friendship is also an important topic, so what would you say, uh, how important is friendship? Uh, in, uh, in your personal life, especially in 2019, where you have so many things to care about, where you're starting <coughs> to care about. So, how, how important is friendship for you? Um, friendship is, I mean, that's, uh, for me, that's the basis of life, that, that's, that's, that's the basic. Like, you, you, you need those to be grounded. And, I mean, uh, when I was, sh like, uh, Finn and I, the relationship that we built um, during the, the shooting reminds me of other relationships that I got with other friends. and. And uh, I'm kind of like William. I met some people who are from other countries who became like my best friend. Like my best, one of my best friends from America. Um, and uh, and friendship is just you. You need that to be grounded and to to move forward. You know, otherwise you, I mean, you don't want to be alone. You know, it's kind of. I feel like uh, uh, life is all about partnership. You know, so friendship. That that was that was very important for me to to be a part of a movie that. And plus for me, the movie is about like friendship, brotherhood. Uh, all the comedies are, are for me the best. The, the, those are the movies that I enjoy the most at the theater when you know those there is like two characters who are not meant to be together and they finally became friends. Uh, I love those movies. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a very crazy journey mm -hmm. across Europe with yeah. a camper. Uh, so um, uh, maybe you have some some nice things from the set hotel maybe maybe from the sorry from the set from the film set yeah uh, some things go wrong they should not go wrong some funny things some blue yeah i can i can snitch actually i can snitch i'm not a snitch but i will uh um i remember that finn got his driver license one week before the shooting of the movie so you know being able to drive like uh, this huge camper van all around europe and having like one week of you know being able to drive it's uh, kind of 
you know, uh, it's risky. And we, we did some tests, you know, in Morocco to uh, just to see uh, how we deal with the car. And like we did the test for like 20 minutes and 20 minutes after Finn broke the car into like a, like a wall. And that was, that was kind of crazy. We were all in the car. Uh, I was in the back singing music, putting some, uh, taping the whole scene, and then I heard the boom, and then <laughs> I saw that the car was, you know, totally broke, and Finn felt really bad. I'm sorry, Finn, if you hear that, but th th that's one of the, those funny stories. And, and plus, I mean, we we had a lot of funny stories. I remember that there is some scene where we're driving high, and we're eating, we're having the munchies, and. Um, and we shot like a couple of scenes where we're singing How Deep Is Your Love by the Bee Gees being high and that was pretty funny, it didn't make it into the movie but maybe you will see it in the making of or but we had like a lot of fun during the shooting of, of this movie. Great stories. And um, when you were um, addressing the audience, what would you say, what are the, um, in your own words, um, the most um, uh, important things you want to tell the audience why they should see roads? Uh, I feel like, I mean, I'm not the right guy because obviously uh, I'm biased, you know, like I'm, I mean it and, you know, uh, and I love the movie, so uh, they're gonna feel like I'm just trying to sell the movie, but honestly, I feel like it's really a beautiful contemporary story about just friendship with a background uh, migrant crisis story, which is very important, but I feel like it's a movie where you just get out of the theater and you, like yesterday we had a premiere in Essen here and uh, in front of like maybe 1,000 people and like it's funny, I was meeting people outside and they were giving me hugs after the movie, some people were crying, that was very like, a, it's a movie where you get through a lot of emotions and you just want to connect with your best friend right after because you brought back so many good memories, it brings back, maybe you went on a crazy vacation and you meet somebody that you never saw after and you just you you just see this movie and it brings you back like a lot of teenagers' memories. That's that's what I love about this movie. Great. And some memories from Germany because you've been here a couple. Of a years. lot of time. I've been there. I mean, like uh, I'm kind of German. Uh, I got an uncle who lives in Cologne. Uh, I, unfortunately, I don't have time to see him. But like I've been coming here since I'm a kid. So uh, memories from Germany. What I would say. Uh, we they got this thing um, named the apple. Uh, what's the name of the apple Yeah, apple shoulder. Uh, <laughs> which is I'm, I gotta admit I'm not the biggest fan, but I'm trying to get into it, you know, because uh, I feel like uh, if I'm like a good apple shoulder, apple shoulder drinker, uh, then I'd be fully German. So uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, post, I would say post. That's the. <laughs> That's what I would say about Germany. <laughs> we try it again. Apfelschorle. Apfelschorle. Apfel. Apfelschorle. Apfel. 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 Super. Apfel Wunderbar. That's uh, that's all I know. Okay, and your uncle is in Cologne, so maybe yeah. you have some 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 things um, that you are impressed of Cologne, or maybe you have some I love favorite the, spots. Ob obviously, like I'm from Paris, and you see what happened with Notre Dame. So to see like this beautiful church when I when we came yesterday at night, that was very beautiful to see. Just you know, like just uh, this beautiful church being you know like being standing still, being respected. So yeah, I mean, there's like a lot of beautiful things in Cologne and. Uh, and I hope to be back. I hope, I really hope to be back. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks to you. Cool.